I'd like to talk today about uh, uh, how stress can affect a vulnerable individual uh, precipitating mental illness. Uh, I will be presenting some slides from uh, uh, the Essential Psychopharmacology um, by Dr. Steven Stahl. Uh, it's chapter 8 in which he talks about the uh, um, various brain circuits uh, which can produce uh, inefficient information processing. And uh, uh, if there is a vulnerable individual who has a uh, malfunctioning circuit, uh, they may or may not uh, present with symptoms of mental illness. However, if the uh, stress uh, adds to um, this individual who might have a vulnerable circuit, that may lead to a uh, um, to a strained circuit, which uh, de then later can lead to symptoms of uh, mental illness. Um, by causing something uh, like stress sensitization, in which uh, circuits not only become overly activated, but they become inefficient and uh, um, continue to malfunction even when the stress is uh, withdrawn. So, for instance, um, development of uh, stress sensitization in normal circuits, uh, for instance, uh, repeated trauma uh, can sensitize a uh, brain circuit uh, uh, leading to inefficient information processing and uh, uh, that in turn uh, can uh, cause that circuit to remain sensitized even in the absence of the of the stressor uh, leaving it more more vulnerable for the uh, following uh, stresses and uh, individuals with stress sensitization are at at increased risk of uh, psychiatric symptoms following uh, exposure to, to subsequent uh, stressors. So um, in this slide we have the model of the early treatment uh, to prevent the progress of a uh, circuit uh, getting sensitized. Um, so early treatment might be, might be able to um, lead to um, a vulnerable circuit uh, not being sensitized and not leading to mental illness in the past. Um, there is also something called diabolical learning in which the, the uh, sensitized circuit becomes overly sensitized and uh, uh, leads to a form of uh, um, oversensitization or diabolic learning in which the circuit will revert to uh, malfunction whether in the presence or in the absence of, of stressors. Um, in other words, symptoms beget symptoms. So the more symptomatic a patient is, the more um, symptoms they will have. Um, now, this uh, continuous uh, psychotic symptoms lead to uh, cell loss, initially starting with the loss of dendritic uh, arborization of the brain cells and eventually to cell loss. Um, These uh, abnormal circuits or vulnerable circuits can be actually visualized by functional imaging. So for instance, functional MRI can um, uh, visualize a circuit uh, by having the patient perform a test, such as, for instance, n back test, which requires a concentration. And uh, for instance, if the patient, if a normal person would perform the stress test, there would be a certain activation of some brain areas. But, but if a patient who has a vulnerable or, or damaged circuit, they would, uh, a larger part of the, the brain area would be activating, showing that they are mobilizing the surrounding brain regions in order to complete the task. Uh, for instance, in uh, uh, dorsolateral prefrontal cortex can be activated by the NBAC 
uh, test. And uh, if a functional MRI is being done while the patient is doing the test, that can show an abnormal activation of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Um, another, another test is uh, uh, a test for uh, activation of amygdala. And uh, it is known that amygdala gets, gets activated when the individual is processing uh, scary faces or faces that show um, uh, the, the emotion of fear. Uh, individuals who have a sensitized circuit may um, uh, have an over activation of the amygdala uh, while performing this test. So in other words, um, there's no gene that codes for mental illness and there's no gene that codes for behaviors. Uh, it's genes code for proteins and proteins uh, make the enzymes and the uh, various molecular pathways such as the transduction and transcription pathways. So it's the, multi it's, it's the, it's the uh, uh, subtle molecular changes that can lead to um, an individual being vulnerable to a stress sensitization. And if we add stress on the, uh, a vulnerable individual, that can lead to overactivation of the, um, the circuit and uh, then the circuit becomes inefficient. 